is the tenth and final video illustrating how to use the Pedro Advanced Search for the You Ask Pedro Answers campaign. It will focus on the question, in children with cerebral palsy, does functional and repetitive training of sit to stand reduce disability more than usual care? This contains all of the PICO components. P for patient is children with cerebral palsy. I for intervention is functional and repetitive training of sit to stand. C for comparator is usual care. O for outcome is disability. Possible search terms for each PICO component are cerebral palsy in the topic drop-down list for the patient, skill training in the therapy drop-down list and stand for the intervention, usual care for the comparator and disability for the outcome. So which of these terms will uniquely and inevitably be associated with the articles that answer this question? Terms for the patient and intervention are probably the best place to start. Select skill training in the therapy drop-down list. Select cerebral palsy in the topic drop-down list. And type stand asterisk in the title only box. The asterisk is the symbol for truncation in Pedro and will pick up articles that contain words in the title starting with stand. This will include both stand and stand up. It is important to note that all words typed into the title only and other text fields need to be in English. If we run this search, we get six articles. Three articles look relevant to our question. The systematic review entitled Sit to Stand Exercise Programs Improve Sit to Stand Performance in People with Physical Impairments Due to Health Conditions. And the clinical trials entitled Impact of loaded sit-to-stand exercises at different speeds on the physiological costs of walking in children with spastic diplegia and effectiveness of loaded sit-to-stand resistance exercise for children with mild spastic diplegia. The systematic review is the highest level of evidence, so it is probably the best place to start your reading. Clicking on the title hyperlink will take you to the detailed search results page. This page provides more detailed information about the article, including the citation, abstract and links to full text. If this article was a clinical trial, the breakdown of the Pedro score would also be displayed on this page. You can access a full text copy of the article using the links under the abstract. For this particular article, there are four links available, DOI, PubMed, PDF Locator and Publisher. The links to full text in Pedro are listed in order of likelihood for accessing free full text, with the links at the top of the list being more likely to link to free full text than the links at the end of the list. This means you should start your attempts to access full text by clicking the link at the top of the list. Clicking on the DOI, or Digital Object Identifier Number, takes you directly to the article on the journal's website. Not all journals will allow you to access full text free of charge, and this is the case for the article we are interested in. If you click on the Get Access button, you are prompted to log in or to pay to access the article. Clicking on the PubMed link takes you to the PubMed entry for the article. The PubMed entry commonly contains links to full text from other sources. In this case, the links take you to the article on the journal's website. Clicking on the PDF Locator link takes you to the search results from pdfsearchengine.net. You will need to scan down the list of search results to see if a link to full text is available for your article of interest. The only link available for the article we are interested in takes you to the article on the journal's website. Clicking the Publisher link takes you to the journal's website. Accessing full text will require additional navigation through the journal website in order to locate the issue that your target article is published in. So to obtain full text for this article, you will need to visit your local medical library. If you don't have access to a medical library, you could try contacting the author to request a copy. This is the last video illustrating how to use the Pedro Advanced Search for the You Ask Pedro Answers campaign. You can access all 10 videos, along with tips for Pedro searching, on the Pedro website using the links in the description for this video.